guys and welcome to another math vlog slash study vlog. So I'm sorry that I'm very shiny. It's just super hot here for the past two weeks. So I'm just sweating like even if I'm doing nothing. So it's Monday today and tomorrow I have a meeting with my supervisors where I, I sent them my draft of my thesis prospectus last week and tomorrow they're going to tell me what to edit, what to change, and all that. So, and that's mainly what I've been working on for the past while. Today, I don't want to do any work on that because I want to wait to see what they're going to tell me. So I think I'm going to just read the references I've been using to write this and maybe do some examples or exercises and make sure I know the details because it's likely I'm going to be asked stuff like that on my exam and I just want to be ready to do that. Uh, and since it's super hot, I'm going to go to the school library today. I haven't been there this summer at all, but I'm pretty sure they have a good air conditioning there, so it might be more comfortable. Okay, let's go. Today, um, Tuesday afternoon and before lunch I had my update meeting with my supervisor where he gave me his comments about what I wrote for my thesis prospectus. Basically he helped me with the big picture stuff like the skeleton. It helped me organize how I'm writing this stuff which I really appreciate. I told him that's what I most need help with and he said that's normal and that's part of what you learn during this degree. So now I'm going back to the library and I'm going to try to type for maybe two hours, um, put in my edit, and then I have an exercise class again with my friends. So I'm looking forward to that. It's a little, little bit less hot today, so it'll be easier than last week, I think. Hello and happy Thursday. So this whole week I've just been typing up my thesis perspectives and uh, I want to show you what I did because I was a little bit proud of it. I, I wrote a lot in the past few days that's like summarizing the big picture stuff. It's really humid. And it's supposed to be like 41 degrees today so probably we'll go to the library again because it's really nice there. And then in the afternoon, it's the last outdoor fitness class of the summer. So even though it's super hot, I'm still gonna go. And I think my friend will come too. So what I'm working on is called the vial module. And it has these three conditions. But sometimes it's nice to know like why we have these conditions. They're not just out of nowhere. So I wrote all of this just explaining how we arrive at them. And I was quite happy with it because I'm usually not good at typing this stuff. And surprisingly, just this one page took me a while to type up. It's a five minute walk and I'm suffering. So look at this. It was raining while it was raining while we exercised. So now I'm drenched and like the mat was soaking and everything. But it's like the last. Actually, it's the second last exercise class outdoors for the summer. The last one's tomorrow at 7:30. So 
I, I don't think I'm able to get up for that. So I didn't want to leave. <sighs> Today, while I was typing up my proof, I got confused and then I was like, how does this proof work? And then I was trying to reprove it, doing something really complicated. And then I realized like actually it's so simple, like I just used some result I already had. And I felt really dumb. Like I always, not always, but I tend to overcomplicate things. Um, I don't know if that happens to you guys either, but it kind of annoys me when I'm like this. Because I'm like... <sighs> anyway, I have to shower and then I'll eat and maybe make a smoothie because I brought, bought protein powder again and I think they taste so yummy.